We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D and our family. Hello everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today we are making some old-fashioned chow chow, y'all. Yes, and here are our ingredients. Okay, here I have some some coleslaw uh, cabbage. This is some shredded green cabbage with red cabbage and carrots. I'm going to use this um, cabbage and I'm going to chop this up. This was a good idea for me to do this instead of doing all the chopping with the cabbage. I'm going to use this bag. Okay, I also have some white vinegar, some pickling salt, some chopped onions, tomatoes. You can also use, instead of the red tomatoes, you can use the green tomatoes. And I have some jalapeno peppers that I have chopped. And I also have some green, red, and yellow bell peppers. And I also have my sugar. Those are our only ingredients. Okay, y'all. Let's get to making our old-fashioned chow-chow. Here, I'm chopping up my cabbage. Like I say, this is some cabbage I purchased at Sam's Club. It all depends on how you like your chow chow. If you like it in smaller pieces, cut it in smaller pieces. If you like it the way it is, you can also keep it just like it is. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm going to add all the rest of my ingredients. It don't matter how you put it in there, just put all your ingredients in your pot. Here I'm placing the chopped onions and tomatoes. Now I'm adding my chopped jalapeno peppers. And it depends on how you like yours. If you like more of the jalapeno peppers, add more. I chopped up three jalapeno peppers. Now I'm adding my green, yellow, orange, and red bell peppers. And you can only add the green ones if you like. I wanted color to mine, so I decided to add all the different colors. Now I'm adding my sugar. My salt. And my vinegar. And we're going to mix this all together. Y'all, I'm making a big batch of chow chow uh, before my family and friends. So you do not have to make as much as I'm making. You can make just one jar. Just add a little, um, maybe like a cup or two of cabbage and your peppers and your sugar you know just add just a little bit of everything like if you just want to make one quart you can make it if you want to make one paint you can make it just like that just put a little small amount of your peppers and your cabbage and your vinegar and your sugar and you're good to go. 
Now I'm about to bring this to a ball. And then I'm going to be right back. Here I'm just showing y'all how um, the liquid have formed. See how much liquid that's in there now since the the chow chow is beginning to start boiling. I just wanted to come back and show y'all that. Now it's beginning to boil. Just a little bit. Okay, here I'm tasting my cha-cha, just like I say, you can taste it anytime just to see if it has all the flavor that you want. If you want more spiciness to it, um, add more jalapeno peppers or you can add cayenne pepper. It all depends on how hot and spicy you want yours. Okay, time to time, go check your pot and start stirring to make sure that all of it is getting cooked evenly. See, I have a very, very big pot that I'm using, so time to time I have to go back and stir so my uh, chow chow can cook evenly, and I'm gonna add my lid. Okay, y'all, as y'all can see now, it has a rapid ball and I'm gonna turn this down some and let it continue to cook. Here, I'm tasting it again. You taste to see if this, this is the tenderness of your chow chow that you're looking for. Some people like theirs all different ways. Some like theirs with a crunch to it, and then some people like theirs all the way tender. Okay, my chow chow is finished. And now what I'm doing, I'm placing it in these jars. Like I say, I'm using the half pint jars. You do not have to use these. You can use the paint size or the quart size. Here I am filling my jars with the chow chow. Here I'm adding some of the juices from my pot. I want to make sure my chow chow is covered. Now I'm using this little spoon to push my chow chow down into the liquid. Now I'm adding my lids. And we're done, y'all. We are done. Okay, y'all, here is the final result. Showing y'all, I do have some more chow chow left. I'm gonna have to go run to the store and buy some more jars. I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell for my new and upcoming videos. I also want to welcome all my new viewers and subscribers. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching. As always, I'm going to say, y'all have a blessed day and bye-bye for now. We are... At home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. and our family. That's a hit!